guys, it's Mia from Mia's Dance Videos, and I'm here with Dance Channel number 12. Um, I went to a Saturday class today with Asheville Ballet, and uh, so here we go. It's rather long, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's from the 13th of November. Today I attended a Saturday class with Asheville Ballet. I think I've officially decided that I prefer Tuesday classes. Uh, we did our usual bar routine and worked on our ground bot maws. Uh, thank you, CSDS Dancer. Um, I worked on not letting my booty, booty, yeah, blah, blah, rise with my leg when I opened to the side. So we're doing like garment moss and raising your leg off to the side. I have a tendency to like raise my butt, just put it that way. And so I was trying not to. I don't know how accomplished I was with that, but I'm working on it. <laughs> my muscles are getting better, especially in my thighs. I think I pulled like a muscle on, on my right leg and it hurt really bad to do ground pleas and ground moss to the front and the side. So, I either pulled one in class today or I pulled one yesterday. So I was practicing some yesterday on my own. And so doing, it was just my right. But on, of course when doing like grand pays on right side it was worse. Um, but less that it hurt too. And then grand bot maws, front and side, were pretty bad back. You know, it, was, it wasn't bad. Um, and so point was good too. Uh, we did PKs um, and PK turns. I just put PK especially for PK turns. On um, point, I worked on using my arms, and it worked. <laughs> Duh. And then, to the right, I did two fasts, like, one after the other, like, bam, bam, uh, PK turns. Because we'll do them, and I'll do a PK turn, and then I'll stop, and I'll do a plie, and then straighten up my supporting leg, and go up, and do it again. So, that's kind of like a slow in between, and so what I did was just, like, PK turn, stop, PK turn. It, they were pretty fast, and so I was, I was happy. And... Oh, my échappés were, like, horrible today. I practiced them last night, too, but we did a different kind, of course. Um, my luck. And it was, like, you'd start with your right front, foot front, and you'd échappé into fourth. So you'd open fourth, then you'd chapé fourth, and then you échappé to second, I think? And then to back and forth. So it's, like, well, you can't see that, but it's, like, fourth, and then second, and then... We did fourth again, and then I think we did second again close front. You can't really see that, so maybe that's a better view. So fourth, and then second, and then fourth, and then second, and then fourth again. No, it's just second. I don't know. I forgot that last part, and I even have, like, question marks everywhere. Um, but I tried. <laughs> and overall, I think I did pretty good today. So my advice today is on seesaws? I don't know. It's more like a French term. I meant to look that up before I did this. I'll probably just look it up and come back to y'all about it. Sea salts. That's how she said it. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong. Oh, I know how it's spelled. I've seen it before. Mm. Yeah, sea salt. Right here. S I S S O N N E. Because I rate this at a restaurant, and so I didn't have this with me. My good old manual technical dictionary class for ballet. Um, and so, seesawing is a name for an originator of a step. It is a jump from both feet onto one foot, with the exception of seesawing tombe, seesawing tombe, seesawing fondue, which finish on two feet. Yes, and I don't know which one we did, but we did the one where we landed on two feet. And so her advice was... Start on two feet and end on two feet. Or start on two, end on two. So we'd go from two feet and fifth, jump and land back and fifth. So, so for beginners, we started out just doing um, a jump and then kind of like having our leg in the air come in front. We said eventually we're going to be like, like that. So not looking forward to that because they were kind of hard. So let's end that. Um, but, I do have like a little extra advice of the day thing going on. Oh gosh, it's only, I missed five minutes long. Um, I did not have to spell powder berets because I'm stupid. And I had, um, Popsicle9165 comment on that video, I believe. And she told me how to spell powder berets. <laughs> so I, it, the spelling is correct, by the way. She put, um, powder beret, I believe, which she was probably that anyway. And, um, it's pa. 
P A S D D E B L U R R E E. I was like, Hagga Border. And so I, I looked it up in this good old book, and I read the definition. It's like, no dog. Bore is dead. Part of the bore is done. Something, 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 something French. I need to take French class in high school. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So thank you to Popsicle9165. I will link you. And I'm guessing that's it for right now. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.